started using the RC pedal as soon as it came out. I saw some videos of the exotic website and what I noticed was that was the, that was actually the first pedal I've ever heard that was completely transparent to the sound of the guitar. So I've, I saw the RC and I also saw the AC and the BB. And the first thing I got was the RC and the BB. And then uh, I, I used the RC Sense, like it came out. It's a must have pedal. And then um, Eric Johnson actually turned me on to the AC because of one of the times I was playing in Austin, he was playing with me and he had it on his little board that he was kind of sitting in with me. And it, it kind of sounded like a Marshall at the time. It really sounded just exactly like his tone. So then I was like, oh, okay, I guess I could give it a try. And then once I put the ace, the RC and the AC together, that's where literally my sound came together. Um, and that's what I've been using since, it's been years. So when I use the EQ on the RC and on the AC, the thing that I really like is when you put it flat at zero, it just sounds right out of the box. Like you don't have to do anything, it's just the way it's supposed to sound and you don't lose any tone out of the guitar. I take the bass out of the RC down a little bit because I use a lot of gain. Sometimes in certain situations it can sound woofy. You can make the too much bass into the amp. With the AC, I just leave it in the middle. And this is what I like, you know, like, cause it's just like, it's such a natural sound. You don't have to mess around. When you do recording sessions, it's super useful, the EQ. It's like super, super useful to add bass and treble cause it's really great frequencies for the pedal. So it just works both ways really, really well. The other thing about this is it's really cool to have both in one pedal. So it's just one power supply, it's less space, which is really important these days. And then, um, believe it or not, we did some AB in between that, this pedal, and using two different pedals. And the fact that there's a cable between the two pedals actually affects the sound. So this to me sounds a little fatter than the other pedals uh, when they're separated. I thought that it would be really cool for the RC to have an extra gain stage. Uh, for two reasons, one is I tour, when I tour, the RC is a lifesaver because you use rental amps and you never know how an, an, a rental amp is going to react. So a lot of times when I tour, the RC is on all the time and that's what makes it sound like fatter and sounds more compressed. So that's a must have. And the, the, the extra gain sometimes, I never really missed any extra gain plugging into rental amps, but sometimes if you want the thing to be a little more cranked, then, you know, it's cool to have just a tiny bit more because you never know what you're gonna get. The other reason for it that um, I thought would be good is um, sometimes when you play Les Pauls or guitars with humbuckers, actually, it, it's just like, it could actually act like a really nice overdrive or just a, 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 a good, um, it almost sounds like you're playing through a cranked amp because it's a really natural sounding pedal. It's actually the most natural sounding pedal I know. That's why I've been using it since it started, it started you know?